clear back there. It's clear there. If I would have just grabbed that brake, because that brake brake was actually like this, and uh, so got to check it. It's under there. Oh, it's All right, clear prop. Try it again. Okay. Old man trying to pull the star. All right. We got the left brake. We got the right brake. Now, with the wind coming, if it's coming very strong from the right side, that left hand wing will come up first. We'll see. Okay, here we go. We're going to kind of go up a hill here. So we'll see if we got power to get up the hill and go. Alright, so you saw that left side come up quick. And we'll just uh, drive down. We'll drive a little bit and we'll take off here. Let's get some speed. Get on up. Forks to the right, pull to the left. Okay. So the wing pulled up on the left a little bit. Came up pretty quick because there is a little bit of breeze. Once we get off the ground, you'll see me a lot of times I'll pull hard left. Because it'll get torque, torque, and it wants to torque to the right, so pull to the left. All right, going with the wind about 36 miles an hour. So I've been flying since uh, 2017, and uh, ever since I first started flying, there's a guy that goes over to the gravesite, stays with his uh, wife over here. I'm not sure how long ago she's passed away, but I'm pretty sure he comes every day. Nice guy, and he always waves to us. So fire departments over here, they were shooting water in the air. I was hoping to go by there while they were shooting it in the air pretty high. Of course, I wasn't going to go through it, but it looked pretty cool. Yeah, the corn is uh, getting uh, pretty high, so uh, it's normally supposed to be knee high by the 4th of July, and uh, definitely uh, starting to get knee high. So it doesn't make a very good, still an okay place if you had to land, but kids are playing baseball over there. We want to stay away from the baseball field. Pumpkin patch is really coming in over here, 452 feet, about 20 miles an hour. Trim set at 3, down to 16. So you can tell when you go into the wind, it really uh, cuts back, about 18 now. And some altitude here, about 405, 70. Again, some altitude, get over the Street. If we need to, we can just turn around and uh, got a lot of places behind us. Unless the wind would push us pretty far, too. Over here, there's a lot of rolling hills. So when you land, if you have to land, I want to make sure you land correction. You just don't keep going down the hill. Oh, about 600 feet above the ground, uh, 15 altitude, cruising about 8 miles an hour. Just slowly cruising. The house down below me looks like it caught on fire. It's all uh, roof. This looks like it's burnt up. Looks like a pretty big house. We're about 677 feet above the ground. RPM's about 4,000, 40, 20. We're just kind of cruising back, going right into the wind. Uh, looking at this wind sock, we're right on angle with it. It's about 730, 725 to be exact. Looking around, see if I see an airplane here. <coughs> all right, so you can spit. Oh, my God. That's probably all over the prop back here. Slinging green slime. So when you make a turn with the wind, you're going to drop. And when you turn it to the wind, you're going to get a little lift. You don't want to fly into a tree. It's a big tree. I believe this is soybeans down here. Just kind of cruising around the old LZ here. Sometimes when you're flying around this LZ, it just feels like you've got the whole LZ to yourself. You're a little complacent. You don't look, see if there's any other aircraft in the area. You don't get many of them out here. Getting a little bit of weight. Turn to the right there and straighten it up. Gotta get close to the truck so I can walk. There we go.